Let's balance the net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus FeNO3-3. We have sulfuric acid and then iron 2 nitrate. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I've already balanced it, and let's just check our work. I can see I have 3 times 2, 6 hydrogens here. I have 6 over here. That's good. 3 times the 1 sulfate, so 3 sulfates here, and then 3 times the 1, 3 there two irons, three of these nitrates here, times two gives us six, six times the nitrate here. So everything's balanced. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we'll write the states for each substance. That'll look like this. So both H2SO4 here and this HNO3, those are strong acids. So they'll dissociate completely into their ions. And then compounds with the nitrate ion are very soluble. So those are all aqueous. This Fe2SO4-3 is a bit more problematic. So if we look at this solubility chart here, we come down, we find iron 3 and then sulfate. So we're going to go down and across. This table tells us that it's slightly soluble. So a little bit of it will dissolve, but not a lot. For the purpose of net ionic equations, we consider that to mean that it's going to be a precipitate. It'll be insoluble. So that's why we have the S after the Fe2SO4-3. I have seen this listed as soluble on other solubility tables. If this was soluble, then we wouldn't have any reaction because everything is aqueous. So we're going to assume that we have this insoluble compound here. This is going to be a precipitate fall to the bottom of the test tube. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation, and we split everything apart except the solid. We keep the solid together here. So we have our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions that are on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In the reactants, I can see six hydrogen ions. You can also see in the products here, I have six hydrogen ions. Those are spectator ions. We'll cross those out. Uh, I see six nitrate ions here in the reactants and in the products. These are spectator ions, which we cross out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus FeNO3. Let me clean this up, write the states, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sulfuric acid in iron 3 nitrate. If you look, you'll see the charge is balanced. 2 times 3 plus, that's 6 plus. 3 times 2 minus is 6 minus. That adds up to 0, net charge of 0. Over here, this is neutral, net charge of 0. If you count the atoms, they're balanced as well. Again, we had this iron 3 sulfate, and our solubility table says that it's slightly soluble. So we write that it's a solid, that it's insoluble. But do check your solubility table. This one's a little bit on the line. So you may see it listed as soluble, which would mean it would be aqueous and there would be no reaction. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.